today you get to know how to do margin account balance in excel sheet so without further delay let's start let's read out the question first suppose that the current future price is seven thousand hundred fifty dollar per ounce because the contract size is 100 ounces the trader has contracted to buy a total of 200 ounces at this price so the if the contract size is 100 ounces and you have ordered to purchase 200 ounces that means you are purchasing two contracts right we suppose that the initial margin is 6000 per ounce okay calculate the margin account balance from day 1 to day 10 there's a note the maintenance margin is 4500 per contract so basically there are two contracts and per contracts uh, maintenance margin is 4500 so daily closing price is given for 10 days okay now at first we need to uh, calculate the initial margin it is actually given that the initial margin is 6000 per contract but you have uh, you as a trader have uh, ordered to buy two contracts right that's why 6000 will be multiplied by 2 and it is 12,000 is your initial margin and the maintenance margin it is said that uh, 4,500 per contract so again two contracts so 4,500 multiplied by 2 is equal to 9,000 is your maintenance margin now what are initial margin and maintenance margin initial margin is the amount required to buy a stock on margin while maintenance margin is the equity needed to keep the position open. Now you can see the table that I have uh, already made. First one is day, then trade price, then price gain, cumulative gain, margin account balance, and margin call. Now what is margin call? When we'll call the margin. When the margin account balance will be lower than the maintenance margin okay here we, our maintenance margin is 9000 when it will be lower, lower than 9000 we'll call the margin so when we'll do the math you'll get to see how we're gonna work it here okay let's start as you can see the trade price is 1750 is the future price the current future price is 1750 okay that's your trade price and you see day one then again day one then day two so there are two day one okay the reason is that this 750 is your trade price is your future price and 1751 that as you can see the daily closing prices first one first day's closing price is 1751 that's your spot price now as you can see that i have put all the closing days 10 days closing price uh, in the price section now let's do the math now let's thing is gain or lose we have to calculate it how are you going to calculate it so equal sign this days present current days closing price minus the trade price multiply by 200 because our contract size is 200 equal to 200 okay so like as a buyer of the contract if the spot price is greater than your future price is always profitable for you if you are the buyer now let's assume that we're doing the math from the buyer's perspective you're the buyer you're the purchaser of the contract now you see the future price was 1750 and, and the spot price or actual price uh the cl closing price is 1751 so it's one dollar more than the future price the spot price is one dollar more than the future price so uh, you have ordered to purchase 200 contracts so one dollar multiplied by 200 is equal to 200 now cumulative gain will be 200 again now margin account balance you see how we're gonna do this we will deduct or add with the 
gain amount okay don't uh, calculate it using the cumulative balance just what why what we're gonna do is that calculate it like some so this margin account balance or initial margin balance put a comma and the gain 200 is positive right 200 now close the bracket you see 12 12200 is your current margin account balance there too again we'll do the same way equal to put a first bracket current day minus previous day bracket close multiply it with 200 enter you see this this day the closing price was much lower than the previous day's closing price that's where making loss how much loss three thousand two hundred dollar so your cumulative gain will be equal to this previous day's cumulative gain plus the present day's gain or loss equal to three thousand minus three thousand is equal is your cumulative gain now margin account balance is equal to don't make mistake don't deduct your margin account balance with the cumulative gain or loss again i'm saying you have to calculate it with your gain or loss so previous margin account balance or we just do it in a more simple way sum right sum previous days margin account balance put a comma now pre present days or current days loss bracket close equal to nine thousand now we will not do it the same thing again and again for uh, 10 days now from this section day two gain look at here carefully drag it down to day 10 okay from cumulative gain drag it down to number of uh, days the total number of days again from margin account balance drag it down to here now see there is a problem there's an error okay here now what we said it before like when we'll call the margin when it will be lower than your maintenance margin so your maintenance margin is 9000 now you see on seventh day it has gone lower to your maintenance margin 8040 now we'll call the margin now how are we going to calculate it it is an interesting factor we will not subtract this amount from your maintenance margin because as i said that uh, when it will be lower than your maintenance margin you have to call the margin so you you do not calculate you do not involve the amount of maintenance margin here instead the way you can you should calculate it is is from your initial margin okay so your initial margin was 12000 minus your mar uh, um, margin account balance is 8040 so it's 3960 uh, less so the broker will call you that you have to top up 3960 dollar because your balance has gone below your maintenance margin okay now there is a problem uh, till here like till seven days all the equations are correct but after that there's a mistake you, you need to add something from the very next day that means eight days margin account balance you have to add an equation here then it will be automatically changed this the equation the equation will be the same just add the previous day's margin call amount okay so suppose let's assume that broker has called you that's why you were uh, topping up your fund to 12000 okay 
you see the next two days uh, margin account balance has have changed so this is uh, how we do the margin account balance and you see there's one day where you uh, you, you have to call the margin the, the other days is over 9000 okay uh, only on seven day it has gone below to 9000 that's why you have called the margin and you have deduct this amount from your initial margin you get the amount the very next day uh, let's recap like the very next day what you have done the equation was uh, okay but we have to add this amount with this amount okay so you, you double click here <coughs> and you see the equation was just okay just we have added this plus this amount and when we I captured this the immediate next two days margin account balance will be adjusted so this is how you do margin account balance on excel sheet thank you very much